us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not part in your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. For the years I endured that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us celebrate the birth of the Virgin Mary. Let us worship her Son, Christ the Lord. Yeah. 
shall be put into the power of the soul, and thou dost pray of the jackals. All the king shall rejoice in God. All that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silenced. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. My soul magnifies the Lord, the Almighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. Just as your 
plants, and the garden makes its growth spring up. So will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and O kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord. A royal diadem held by your crown. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate. But you shall be called <coughs> my delight, and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land espoused. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have stationed watchmen. Never by day or by night shall they be silent. O oh, you who are to remind the Lord, take no rest, and give no rest to him until he reestablishes Jerusalem and makes of it the bride of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who is that coming up from the wilderness, leaning upon her In those 
Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the, the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord.
sing. And the Spirit of the Most High came to dwell in her heart. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Virgin Mary came forth from the root of Jesse, and the Spirit of the Most High came to dwell in her heart. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father of mercy, give your people health and strength from heaven. The birth of the Virgin Mary's Son was the dawn of our salvation. May this celebration of her birthday bring us closer to lasting peace. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Angelus Domini Nunciavit Mari. Et concepite Spiritus Sancto. Ege Angela Domini. Fiat miti secundum verbum tuum. Et verbum caro vagunas. 
et habit habit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicatum in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus antris tui, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, non et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitri, Gratiam tuam quesumus Domine mentibus nostris in fonde, un cui angelo non si ande, Christi fili tui incarnationem cognovibus, per vasione meus et crucem, ar resurrectionis gloriae.